Welcome back tubers. My batteries are doing just fine. I was planning on doing a video for you updating what's going on in the shed at the moment in the workshop. But instead of working on batteries, I have a much more enjoyable hobby to actually go and deal with today. And that is my bees. So if you enjoy my bee videos, head on with me for the ride. If you don't, thank you very much for tuning in and I'll see you on the next one. And on that note, let's take a look at what I have. I have a native beehive in a log. Probably can't see the activity there, but they're bringing in plenty of pollen coming and going. And that's just a log in my garden. I have a second hive in another log. Again, just coming and going. Nice and busy. I have two native beehives that is very poorly displayed here. But again, they're nice and busy coming and going. That one's actually got two entrances. And this one's just got one larger entrance. These both are due for splitting. They're both very active hives and they should be split up, but I'll get to that eventually. And at the front, I do have two honeybee hives. So those are the honeybee hives that I'm gonna go and have a look at today. Out at the front here, I've got my two hives. Now the one on this side is the hive we split only a couple of weeks ago. Uh, probably about eight weeks ago I think and it's got a real good amount of activity with lots of pollen and nectar coming in by the look of it and then we've got the entrance for the other one around the other side here and then that one's just going off going real good they're getting a little bit nasty with me out here without a suit on but the one on this side here we had a couple of frames of brood comb in it from the other hive um, and they made their own queen and on the outside there was a couple of frames of um, just foundation so I want to go into that one and make sure they're actually building it out a little bit. Make sure they actually have got brood in there. So we've still got a queen. We had a queen in there a few weeks ago. I just want to double check that and see how that top super is going for some stores as well. Because that top super there, that half super, was about half full of honey, capped honey. On the other one on the other side there, I want to pop off the flow hive on top. And I'd like to have a look in the next one down because that was a brand new box we put in there with, with just a tem frame with our foundation on it but it wasn't drawn out yet. So with this sort of activity, I'd expect a little bit of um, honey to be stored, but not very much to be harvested. Uh, so let's get after it, have a look inside and see what we can find. Close up of the entrance over here. Tap, 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 tap. They're not very happy about me being here. Open up that one, heaps of moisture in there. So that's not very good work out why see if we've got the vents open have a look on this one look back there there's not too many honey stores but there's plenty of activity which is all we want to see for the smoker I just use whatever I've got in this in this point it's just a couple of leaves off the ground get a decent fire happening It's inevitable that this goes out. It goes out almost every time on me. Seeing if I can get it right this time. There must be a trick to it. I'd say that's the fuel that I'm using. We've got some heat in it now, so I think that might be enough. Now I was going to try and go in without any smoke and without any um, protect, uh, without a suit on today, but even when I was filming just that little bit before, they were having a good go at me, so I don't think it's worth the risk. Have a look there. A fair whack of activity on that smaller hive, on the other one on the other side is a lot more, so probably not worth the risk. Let's get in there.
fair bit of honey there. Also a fair bit of moisture. Which is frames of honey. I've eaten that one down a little bit. Plenty of bees, so heaps and heaps of bees, which is really good to see, which means the hive is growing. A nice full frame of honey there. Lots of stored honey in there, but none capped. Oh, beautiful, look at that. It's all winter honey there. So heavy. And these were the couple of frames that we the other month they're starting to build out those frames again some beautiful fresh wax beautiful honey beautiful wax being built out there with a little bit of honey in it it's so pretty the way they build it out so perfectly Plenty of numbers down the bottom there. We'll pop this top one off and put it back together again and have a look a little bit lower down. Now we don't have a queen excluder in this box and she hasn't come up the top here so she mustn't need any extra room. You can see the four frames in the middle there. Got plenty of bee numbers down there. It's really encouraging to see. They have built out some of the comb in between the two. And then that one's really fat down there, so I don't know how I'm going to get that out safely. And the girls have made a right mess of it, but it's their hive, so I guess they can do what they like. We'll have to try and work with it. So they started building out that frame. There's one on the outside there. That's closest to the wall. That's inside a little bit, so they've got some colour there. Now we're not going to go all the way into this, I'm not, I don't need to go all the way into it. I don't need to risk hurting any bees. But I am curious to see what they're doing and how they're doing. Looks like they're starting to draw that out too by the number of bees on there. Really making some progress on it. drawing that out at all. I thought that would be a little bit more than that. Have a 
look what the girls are doing down here. This one's got some weight to it. Oh, they filled this one with resources, so it's got honey, a bunch of pollen in it. Heaps of pollen in it. It's quite a heavy frame considering it's not really drawn out on the other side. The frame beside it is humongous. It's very wide. Now I haven't used that much smoke on them today. They're not that stroppy, which is really nice. Which means this nice new colony. It's got a nice polite queen. And that's a nice heavy frame. Uh, plenty of bee numbers and what I like to see capped brood. Plenty of plenty of stores around the outside. Now I'm no expert, I just love what I do. And that's got a heap, a heap of um, honey across the top there. And then, I think by the look of it, we've got a lot of young, young brood in there. Yeah, there's larvae in there, uncapped larvae. So, they're doing really well. So there's no need to go any deeper. I can see the next frame there has got plenty of activity on it. Next frame down there has got plenty of activity. Not sure whether that'll focus down there. But there's heaps of brood and stuff on that. So midwinter, these girls are doing fine. So we'll get them back together again. I think we've gone into them far enough. Again, a better look at that one. They're not too pleased at the moment. So that wasn't ideal. Um, I got almost all the way through just having a look at that first hive. Plenty of brood. Um, it looks like it's going along really, really well. Heaps of stores there. There's, I think, five full frames of honey. Um, and basically, that was all the stuff we left there. We didn't harvest last year. Um, and on the other hive there, I'm even even happier with that. Now, we gave, the, gave them two brood boxes rather, rather than one and the queen has just gone to town on the second brood box now the brood box the second brood box the, that's the one underneath the honey super the um, flow hive um there was it was completely raw frames there was there was not built out or anything uh so they've they've gone through and filled it up really quick i think maybe six weeks they've filled it up so it's all been drawn out there is just brewed through i think eight out of the ten frames there's a little bit on the outside that hasn't been um, drawn out yet, but I mean, it's a stunning result. That that, that second hive there, the, the three frame, the three deep, the second three deep there, the one at the back, is just going real strong. It's a it's a fairly good colony. We lucked out with that one, I think. Um, really good genetics. So run out of smoke almost all, halfway through, I guess. Um, that smoker. Somebody will give me some sort of indication of how to fix that, but. Going really, really well. So we did a successful split by the by the look of the numbers in that triple deep. Um, we're going to have to do a split or two or three on that uh, beginning of summer, or at least getting out of winter. Otherwise, we're going to have a swarm situation happening in that. Um, now we could take it back to two supers for the um, for the honey and then one for the brood. But that queen seems like she's got some some desire to breed, so we may as well let her have at it and have some fun. Anyway, tubers, I know the large majority of you don't like these videos, but, you know, it is my channel and I do like doing these things. So thank you very much for tuning in. If you stuck around to the end, consider smashing that like button or leaving a comment below. It really does help the channel. And God knows during this time of this COVID, I'm going to need some help. Well, give it a good out crack anyway. Thank you very much. I'll see you on the next one. It's probably time I should clean my um, solar panels. A bit of wash and wax from the car. In it goes exactly that much. Up on the roof. 
my kids are helping me, my two sons, and get them off the computer a bit. Now these panels here are just lying here for now. They're just sort of running some tests. Um, they're probably the worst panels. They're not self-cleaning. And they've only been there probably, I don't know, eight months or something. So they've all got heaps of dust and stuff down the corner there. But all these other solar panels up on the roof, all commercially installed ones, um, they're starting to yellow a little bit. And I don't know if you can hear me properly. They're starting to yellow a little bit. We've got a couple of, a couple of stains here and there. Again, these ones haven't been done for about 12 months, but it won't hurt them. We'll give them a bit of a bath and see if it makes them any better. Then we've got another lot over here. We've got south side of the hat. No, this is the setting sun, so west, west side of my house. A few there, those ones there. Got those ones there, we got all those ones there, and the roof over there is just choppers. So we will give these things a bath. Well, that wasn't too much fun. I don't know why, but I got it stung about eight times. One on the face, a couple through my shirt, one on my toe. My son got stung about four times. Um, what I think's happening is we were, we were working in the flight path of my beehives. Um, we pushed them off and copped a few tags, but you get that right. My son's not too happy, but I reckon he'll live. He's not, he's not allergic to them, so. Those other couple of panels there, they'll be right. I didn't get to them all. There's a little bit of lichen build up on the bottom of them. I'll have to get to them soon, but none of these ones had lichen. So I'm just thinking that this one uh, gets a really early morning sun and is always wet. So I think that moisture combined with the warmth is just the lichens growing on that one rather than the other ones, I can only assume. Anyway, we might go back to processing some cells.